All right, in this next section, we're gonna talk about getting you set up with MySQL Community Server and MySQL Workbench, which will allow you to host and manage the various schemas that we'll be using in this course. So first, you're gonna download Community Server. This is a free program, and it's what allows SQL to run on your machine. Then we're gonna download MySQL Workbench. This is the program we'll be using as our relational database management system. It's really intuitive and it works across operating systems, so no matter what you're using, you'll be in good shape. Next, we'll connect Workbench to the server so that you can start using Workbench as your management system for your various schemas that we'll create. Then we'll do a quick review of the Workbench interface. I'll walk you through where everything is and make sure you're familiar with a few key components and concepts. And then finally, we'll actually create the databases that we'll use in this course. This will just be one file that you'll run. It's super easy. I've done most of the heavy lifting for you. Super important point here. If you've taken one of my other courses and you already have Community Server and Workbench installed, then just go ahead and skip to either step four or step five, wherever you feel more comfortable. There's no need to reinstall or get on the most recent version. Whatever version you have is going to be fine and just save yourself the headache of going through another software install. Last thing on this, the videos are specific for Mac and PC. So find the videos that match up with your operating system and go ahead and skip over the ones that aren't relevant to you. Let's get into it.